fixing to make some uh, beef ribs on the Traeger here. I just wanted to show these to you. These are some high quality ribs from Good Life Grass Farms that I just got from my brother-in-law. And before I seasoned them, I just wanted to show you guys this wonderful marbling through the meat here. Uh, just that high quality, you know, nice thick rib. They actually cut these ribs crossways, which is interesting. So here's each rib bone. They're not cut lengthwise like a rack of ribs. Uh, but that's just a good thick chunk of meat. Those are good healthy ribs and good quality marbling in the meat there. These two, the package leaked, so they look a little bled out. That's why they look all pale and nasty, which is because the package had a pinhole in it. But just, just focus on these. <laughs> but I just wanted to show those to you guys, show you how good that looks with that good, good mix of marbling. Nice thick chunk of fat right there on the side of them. I'm going to season them up here with some Traeger coffee rub, just because that's what I've got. Um, I've got the grill preheating right now. Like I said, I'm gonna just, just going to rub them with a the coffee rub. That's all I'm going to do. And we're going to smoke them for about two hours, and then we'll just cook them after that until they're tender, basically. Um, but yeah, mostly just want to show them to you before I rub them, just so you guys can see the quality of that meat again. Super excited about this beef from Good Life Grass Farms. Looking forward to eating them all. All right, so there you got them on the smoker. Just threw them on there. You can see that wonderful smoke rolling. Maybe a little bit more smoke than normal. No, I guess not. That's the, that's the smoke from the pellets. I need to clean my Traeger. I've got a lot of debris down there from cooking chicken. But this smoke's coming up around that tray. That's not going off. So that's that good smoke rolling. So we're going to smoke them for two hours, and then we'll crank it up to 225 and just cook them until they're tender enough to be our liking. Which for me is probably going to be early. I'm going to eat them and say they're tough, but it's because I just can't wait to eat them. So let's get this lid shut. Let's get them cooking. All right, here's our one hour checkup. Oh my God, the smell, people. I can't even begin to tell you. I can't wait to eat these freaking ribs. <laughs> oh, they're gonna be so good. Got another hour on smoke, and then we'll crank it to 225 until we're happy with the tenderness. All right, here's our two hour checkup. See the fat starting to melt on it there. Getting that deep red color, getting a nice rind on it. So it's been smoking for two hours. And now we've taken it off the smoke, technically, although it's still smoking very well. Took it off the smoke setting and I set it to 225, which is actually funny. I walked out here, it was on smoke at 225. I turned it to 225 and now it's at 205. <laughs> so, uh, who knows? But yeah, you can see it's just glistening there. Got a nice puddle of juice on it where some blood's starting to cook out, soak back in. But mostly the fats are starting to melt off. So, now it's just time to let it cook until it's tender. Alright, so here we are off the smoker, uh, it's about four hours total, wait, yeah, four hours total, so two hours smoked, two hours cooked, it said three to four in the Traeger recipe book, so they might be a little tough, I'm not going to let you guys see me eat them because I'm planning to make a mess, but I'm super excited about it. Alright, well we did our best on them here, it is 10.30 at night, so we're not going to clear the whole plate. Uh, but I'll just tell you guys, that they, they, they were good. Um, they're not great, but I think that's just my expectation. You have to remember these are beef ribs, not pork ribs. So you can't go into it expecting pork ribs. They're just uh, all around different taste. Not as, uh, you know, I would say not as juicy, not as tender. These were still tough. I knew they were gonna be, because again, they only cooked for two hours and the recipe said, you know, three to four or more uh, for the additional cook time to, to tenderize them. So they were still a little tough from that aspect, but. The one thing that's throwing me off is this this bit of fat right here, which is this piece of fat here, this piece of fat here. For whatever reason, that fat is just overpowering. Um, you know, the, the, the intermuscular fat, the marbling that was in the meat itself is fine, tastes great, but this chunk of fat, for whatever reason, is kind of overpowering um, the flavor of the ribs. So I peeled it off and just ate the meat behind it. And the meat, like I said, the meat was good. It, you know, again, it's beef rib, not pork rib. So you can't go into expecting pork rib, but you know, I'm happy with them. Uh, we've got more in the freezer. I'll try it again. Next time I'll let them cook down a lot longer, tenderize a little better. Maybe it'll cook off a little bit more of that fat, um, but definitely a good smoky flavor from the Traeger. I mean, you can see the, just that nice on that little bit. You can see the pink and the smoke ring on that little bit of meat that's still there. So excellent job by the smoker. Uh, I think excellent quality ribs all around, like I said, just not pork ribs, which is where my heart's at, but all around, 
good ribs, um, just cautioning on a little bit of fat and definitely cook them longer than, than I did here. Uh, I did two hours smoke and then two hours at 225. Uh, this should have been probably four hours or more to, to really soften them up. But they were, they weren't, it wasn't like chewing on rubber. Um, just not as tender as it could have been.